This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we are continuing my series of videos exploring the very best locks that common retailers have to offer. Today, we'll be looking at the best lock from my local Ace Hardware store, the Series A527 Padlock. Now, the title of Best Lock at my local Ace was actually a toss-up between this lock and the Master Lock Model M930. The Master Lock had the edge on shackle strength while the Ace seems superior in both build quality and pick resistance. I probably would have gone with the Ace anyway, but the scales tipped in favor of the store brand because we already featured the Master Lock last week. So, this Ace seems to be a pretty competent lock at first glance. We have a solid hardened steel lock body, an 11mm hardened steel shackle, and a ball bearing locking mechanism. While I would much prefer a boron or molybdenum alloy shackle, on balance, I think it's a fairly solid lock. So, let's see how the pick resistance measures up to the rest of the lock. If we look at the bottom, we can see an American lock keyway. I generally deal with them using top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths pry bar and a standard hook in 18 thousandths. One is binding, got a click there. On to two, nothing there, three, binding, got a couple clicks there, still binding, okay, I think three is set, on to four, four is binding, got a couple clicks out of four, five, one, two clicks, still binding, three, there we go, got another click out of five, and we open this up. So definitely quite a few serrated pins in there and probably something that's going to keep a novice lock picker out. So let's take this apart and see what's inside. To open this up, we have a Phillips screw down the shackle hole. Let's remove that first. Okay, we drop the core out, and it looks like there is an anti-bypass plate down there. Yep, there certainly is. Okay, to get that core apart, we're going to need a clip remover. Okay, we got the clip off. Now let's get the key and a follower, and this should come apart. Okay, we can see this is a six pin core, but only five of the pins are populated. First key pin is serrated, so, so is the second. The third is standard fourth is serrated, and fifth is standard. Those standard pins are probably standard because there is no opportunity for the serrations to come into play on the shorter pins. Okay, let's check out the driver pins now. I'm expecting to see some serrated pins in here. One is serrated, two is a serrated spool, three is serrated, four is a serrated spool, and five is serrated. And then looking at the springs, they all appear to be the same. Okay, let's zoom in on this just a little bit. Okay, looking at the key pins, you can see we have three serrated and two standards. As I mentioned, those standard pins are probably not serrated because they're so short. Then looking at the driver pins, we have three serrated pins and two serrated spools. While I would certainly like to see that sixth chamber being populated, all in all, I don't have a lot to complain about with the pinning here. Moving over to the core, I don't see anything special about the keyway. That's a normal American lock keyway. Nothing special in the chambers. This is a bypassable design, but they included the anti-bypass plate. 
and we have something really interesting on the back here. This tiny little hole here can accept a pin, and I believe that will convert the lock into key retaining. So not too bad a little lock here. In any case, that's all I have for you today on this Ace Hardware Series A527 padlock. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.